Hey, what's up you guys? Hope you're all well today. Can you believe that it's been two years since my post-op double jaw surgery? Well, this is my post-op two year double jaw surgery. I can't believe I had this done two years ago today. Um, so I get a lot of questions. Even today on my Instagram, I got a DM from someone asking about my recovery and surgery. I made a whole entire series about my double jaw surgery. I filmed the process, the recovery, the pre-surgery. Like I did a six month post-op, one year post-op. I know for me, it was really helpful researching. I would look up videos. I would read blog posts for weeks, you know, prior to my surgery, just cause it was kind of comforting to read other people's experiences and, and watch videos. You know, it can be nerve wracking getting surgery, but I know that helped me feel more at ease when I was going through surgery. So I wanted to contribute to that community. Now that it's been two years today, I thought it'd be kind of cool to make this video to kind of end the series off now, two years later, just to kind of wrap it up and give you my final thoughts on my double jaw surgery in case you maybe are in recovery right now or you're thinking about getting it in the near future. Hopefully this video can give you a little insight on what this surgery is all about. And if this is your first time watching or you didn't, you've been watching me for a little while, I I did have double jaw surgery. Basically my lower jaw was out kind of like that and my upper jaw was pushed back. So I had an underbite, which was causing me to have breathing issues. Not only was I insecure about it, I didn't like smiling on top of like my crooked teeth. I had a big old gap and an underbite. I had breathing issues because my upper jaw was pushing my nasal cavity back. So I couldn't breathe really well through one nostril. I also had slight TMJ. I also had um, digestive issues because since I had an underbite, I was would chew with my back molars and that caused me to not digest my food properly. So I had that issue and on, so yeah, pretty much uh, it was a medical procedure. It wouldn't, it, people think it's cosmetic or I had it to like for looks, though it's a plus, it wasn't all that it was, you know, my insurance wouldn't have covered a cosmetic procedure. Since I was in middle school, I knew that I was going to have to get the surgery done. It's funny because I remember my, like my parents couldn't afford braces back in the day for me. And I still remember my mom telling me like, you know, when you're older, I believe that you will be able to like, you know, purchase or like get your braces and your surgery. And I remember still to this day, like looking in the mirror and I think I was in sixth grade and I was like, one day, I don't know how, because I was really insecure when I was growing up, especially with my smile. Um, I would smile with my like covering my mouth and I remember telling myself in the mirror one day when you're older when you're an adult I don't know what age how I don't know when but you will be able to like afford your own braces and your surgery like it will happen and fast forward to now like you know luckily I was able to I was able to pay my braces in like in full cash uh, my surgery, I got it done. Let's fast forward to post-op just to make a long story short. I'm going to do like frequently asked questions. What I get asked frequently with my double jaw surgery. Um, a lot of people watched my first couple of videos with the jaw surgery. So it's kind of cool to, I don't know. It's really cool to be like part of the community of people who have had surgery because only you will understand what it's like to go through this. I get asked a lot about pain. Was the surgery painful? It was not painful. It was just really uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if it's because I have a high pain tolerance, but um, a lot of people that have it also, it's not really painful when you get out of surgery. Obviously you're put to sleep when you're having surgery, but when you get out of surgery, it wasn't painful. It was just a really uncomfortable first, especially first four or five days were the worst when it comes to like being uncomfortable. I don't know if it's because of my medication that I didn't feel any pain, but think about it. You get out of surgery, you don't recognize yourself because you're swollen, like really swollen. Your face is like double the size. You have huge cheeks. You can't really talk. You can't really feel your face. You can't eat. You can't really sleep much for the first couple of days because you're propped up and you can't really like, it's a little uncomfortable. That's the best way I can describe recovery. It's just uncomfortable, I guess. Then it just gets better, gradually gets better. What I had done, um, for those of you wondering, I had both of my jaws broken and then I had them fixed. So my upper jaw was pushed back, my upper jaw was pushed forward. I had titanium plates or I had them screwed together and I also had my upper palate, my upper jaw was widened. It's called a splint. I had that on the roof of my mouth for three weeks, which is really uncomfortable and really annoying actually because I literally was talking to you like this. But... I'm feeling pretty good. I actually feel pretty well. Look at my bike. It's crazy. My nose looks big, so it's swollen. They did something to my chin. I think they added a bone. 
or something. So I was like that. Um, I also had genioplasty, pretty much a chin implant. So they put a little bone of like a chin because since my uh, lower jaw was pushed back, I would have had no like no structure. So that is exactly what I had done. And of course I had braces. Another question that I get asked a lot is, uh, when were you able to eat? So I was able to eat. Don't get discouraged if you're gonna have this surgery. It's totally worth it in my opinion. But one of the hardest parts for me was that, was that I couldn't really eat solid foods until about like, if I'm honest, I think I remember like the first time I could have potato chips was around nine months of surgery. And the first time I could bite a burger down was at 11 months around that time. So just be patient. Yeah, you're pretty much gonna have to have a bunch of mushy foods for the first couple of months. Soups, macaroni and cheese, um, potatoes, just things like that that are just kind of, you know, not really hard to chew. Another question I get asked is, when did I start working out again after surgery? I actually, my surgeon, um, shout out to Dr. Stringer in Riverside. I'll get into that in a sec, but he cleared me to go work out. I think it was like, four weeks, but he said that start really slow. Like you have to, if you do weight training, you know, start with less than half of your weight, what you do. You just slowly wanna get your body back into working out. You don't wanna do a heavy bench press, heavy squats, things that will like, you know, you you know your body best, but I think it was four and a half weeks that he said I can go back, but the, your surgeon will let you know. Other question I get asked is cost. I don't think I talked about this before, but believe it or not, each jaw is around $15,000. So both just $30,000, just shitload of money. However, I didn't pay not even half of that because I had good insurance at the time with, <clears throat> I got the insurance purposely for the um, surgery. I made sure my surgeon was covered and everything. Like, um, So yeah, I paid not even half of that. Um, I don't remember exactly what, how much it was, but I paid, I had like a monthly plan. I paid it around <clears throat> like a little over a year after I, I paid it all off. It was n nowhere near as, as much like that. It was pretty affordable with insurance, you know what I mean? Another question I get asked is when can you go back to like an outside world? When can you go to work or school? I would honestly, it's no joke. The recovery is no joke, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's just, the swelling is just, you have to be so patient. You can't like, you can't really focus on what you look like the first couple of months. The first like six, seven months, you're still swollen, so don't judge your appearance until honestly i would have to say a year after surgery then that's how you'll look for like the rest of your life but the first few months your face is just swelling in random places i had like one bigger left cheek some people swell less some people swell more depends like what you eat how healthy you are so i would say have a month off of work or school some people unless you want to look a little bit swollen you can go after like three weeks but most people i hear it's like a month i'm just going to give you guys random tips that i can think of right now that helped me be really patient it's worth it i personally think it's worthwhile number two really research and look into your surgeon i was lucky enough to have dr Stringer in Riverside. He is amazing. My orthodontist recommended him to me and uh, yeah, he's just amazing. I looked up his website, reviews, websites about him, like really great work. I saw before and after. I got a really good vibe from him. Now, when it comes to like the first four to five days post-surgery, have someone staying with you or stay with somebody because you will need help the first like three to four days, especially. You know, you'll be pretty much like a couch potato. You can't really, you know, you know, especially with like medication, you'll be a little bit like a little bit out of it. So have someone with you to take care of you and give you your medication when you have to take it and to like all that stuff. Um, so you will need some help the first few days. Yeah, it's pretty much I can really say is just be positive. Don't just stay at home. Just get like fresh air. I would go to my mom's house, chill there, um, just to get out. So don't just stay at home all day when you're going through uh, through recovery. Oh, last question I get asked a lot is if I still have any numbness in my face because when you're having surgery done, they're pretty much like moving your nerves around, you know, when they're getting the surgery, when you're getting it done. So chances are you might have some little areas that are still gonna be numb or will, might be numb for the rest of your life. I haven't really read or seen anyone that has had like a really bad experience where like a big part of their face is numb. Usually it's just very small, minor areas that are still a little numb. For me personally, it was worth it. I'm still numb right here, like right here. I don't really think about it throughout the day. Just when I touch it, it feels a little tingly and I just like, it's really numb. It's like this little small little area. It's like a, and also another part that's numb is the inside of my mouth in like the upper left lip, like up here, like, like inside here is totally numb. Oh, it makes me kind of ticklish. Just feels like ants crawling over. 
right here. So right there and right here. I'm still numb. You can see a little bit when I smile sometimes. It's getting much better, but honestly, like I said, it's no biggie. I don't really think about it. Feel free to shoot me a DM on my Instagram, at Jairwoo, J-A-I-R-W-O-O. I always reply, especially when it's like surgery related questions, I will get back at you. Thank you for watching. I'll link all of my videos with my surgery in case you guys wanna go back in time and watch it. I'll link everything down below or carded right up there. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Oh, little side profile, I guess. My hair's a little messed up, but this is my side view. All right, I'm gonna go. Adios.